Hey guys, what's up? I'm Zoro for all don't know, and this is a 200 round 200 world record video attempt number one. At the moment, it's been recorded at 21 minutes past nine GMT time on the 19th of 19th of January on the Saturday. If you tell me you're watching it, so it'll be the 20th if you're watching it on the day of release, which will be the Sunday, which is tomorrow. And now, as you can see, I'm starting up the rise from the dashboard just to prove there's no third party hacks or I'm in some type of dodgy lobby, what I've seen a few people do. And now, this is what the current holder, I can't remember his name, but he got to round 198. He did this just to show the startup menu and everything. So, I decided to do it as well just to prove these no. It's actually all legitimate because I don't want to really spend 80 hours non stop playing on this game just to get people saying it's fake, it's not real, and that. So, <laughs> that was my voice of the trolls, by the way. If you like that, give it a thumbs up. So, this is why I'm recording the rounds. I have recorded every single round so far, and by the time you're watching this now, I am probably in bed as I've just done 60 non stop rounds, and it kills you. It kills you, that's only 60 of them. I don't know how long it took me, um, but I've worked it out that it's going to be around 80 hours with, if you just this to the gameplay of the alone, that's not with breaks or anything. So the Xbox is going to get some punch into it more or less, and now if you're wondering why the Xbox is, how is it not going to over overheat, I've actually bought, you can get these little USB fans for laptops, you most, if you know what they mean, you sit under the laptop and you plug it in a USB port and they actually work for the Xbox, if you plug um, two of them in, they're about five dollars each, if you plug them in the front of the Xbox and attach them on the sides they keep the Xbox cool, and now if I feel it now if you can hear that, that's me like, rubbing on the side of the top of it on that little holy bit it's actually freezing cold and now it's been on for a few hours all I know is that I started on the zombies when it was actually <laughs> Um, it was getting a bit night time and now it's pitch black more or less so I decided to do this video and this is I'm actually paused around 60 now just around 60 so it's going to 61 I'm having a quick break and this is what I'm doing in my break more or less and now at the end of this I mostly try and break every 10 rounds basically because I'm not, I'm not exactly trying to rush this because if I rush it, I know that I'll get too tired and I'll mess up on something stupid for some reason. I'll try and maybe run into a door but completely miss it and end up walking into the wall. Just completely failing. And I don't want to get, like, use all of this time and just fail on that. And now if you are if you are wondering why that some of the bits might be cut out and it'll fade to another part in the clip, this is because the rounds, I wasn't rushing at all as you can see here, I was just taking my time trying to build up as much points so I can open the doors and not waste my money on the actual starting guns that's why I didn't buy the gear if you're wondering because the gear's 600 um, points but the car 98 is only 200 and there's not exactly that much difference between them as you can see this is one hit kit, one hit kill to the face sorry guys that I can't really speak it's because I've just spent hours doing this if I was actually going to record it live, it'd be even worse, more or less. That's why none of the actual big commentators or world record holders record them live. Most of them, they just put the gameplay in, but I didn't think, because I wouldn't watch that, I'd get pretty bored of that. If I was just watching the gameplay and it was just people, the zombie noises and opening doors and stuff, it's pretty boring after about five minutes. So, I've decided just to commentate over the top of it. It's pretty... It's pretty nice going for the world record as I've never really beat one, if you're wondering. Um, and this route, this is my route, I haven't seen anybody else do this route. If you have, um, congrats to them, they've got a pretty nice route if they've done it. This route works, um, you you never really get hit if you do it properly. But as the rounds go higher, the zombies speed up and take more health to kill. Like on round 66, which I actually recorded for you guys to show it that I could get high rounds. The zombies take two shots with a wonder waffle and the ray gun upgraded which pack a punch doesn't really do much to them as that was what the gun that Varkso was actually using. Now if you're wondering why he hasn't put any videos up um, it's because he was been saving for his blue yeti mic as this is the one I'm using it's pretty good quality it's HD 
Um, it's pretty easy to set up and when you have a HD headset I have the Razer Kraken, the green one, it's a pretty nice headset, it's comfy but I also have the Gamescom one and I prefer to use the Gamescom one as on the, the Razer Kraken it starts to hurt the top of your ears after a while of using it. If you want to buy the Gamescom headset you can buy it for about £60 on Amazon it's about $70 ish and so yeah that's pretty good more or less if you really want a good headset it's you can use it for music I wouldn't take it outside as it's pretty big and if you smash it you're gonna get pretty annoyed and there you go monkeys now monkeys are really important if you're wondering why I'm not wasting them I'm saving them for a really high round when I actually need them if I'm gonna go down because I'm not allowed any more perks and if I didn't already mention this I can't really remember it's pretty late pretty tired but XGN offered us another fifty dollars if I can do this with one perk only and I actually did record this video twice as the other clip messed up Sony Vegas seemed to freeze on me when I actually tried to move on it it said it's not responding so I had to recommentate this clip again but um, in case it's not in this video I'm not too sure if it is or not XGN offered us 50, uh, this is two hundred and fifty dollars in total if I can get around 199 or higher more or less and it's pretty nice and the money isn't for us as I explained in the first video I uploaded the money for the money is actually going to cancer research all the money I will post a email when they actually want to send the money to them and that will be if we beat it or the end of the when I die more or less I will send the email so from here I'm hoping to upload these 10-15 minute clips they're pretty they're all pretty much good I guess except I didn't want to commentate them live or I, I wouldn't be talking that much you're pretty boring for you guys to watch just me doing the odd freak out when I see a zombie and now on here I actually when I go to buy my first perk which is the jugger I see a zombie and I actually freaked out now it's probably around around five or something on this round on the actual round when I buy the jugger it's just it's scary as hell because I there's I can only see one zombie throughout the whole game like once I killed them all off and I didn't know there was any more and then when I went up the stairs one went running from me and you'll see that clip in a minute it's thank god there was no actual um, <laughs> voice recording on it or it would have been pretty pretty suckish now to be honest with you guys most of the commentators they sound cool when they're playing the actual game but if you notice they'll never do live zombies as their reactions would be <laughs> too embarrassing and that's just a quick honest tip as when I'm actually playing zombies I start freaking out when they're near me and no matter how good you are this is still gonna happen because when you run around the corner there's a zombie there look at this what the hell this look at how long he's taken to die he has no face no neck and he's still walking around chasing me now what the hell's up with that that was a pretty nice 360 pop to the face and um, so yeah guys now I'll probably call this see I'll probably call this um series board record hunting or something like that. I'll think of a catchy name when I actually I'm uploading it. Got very unlucky in the chest here as I got the Panzer Chirk, I think I just call it the more RPG bazooka thing. Pretty sucky gun, tell you the truth. You aren't gonna get far if you have one of these. Unless it's well I've actually never pack a punch this gun ever. I don't know what it's like pack a punched. I couldn't see it being any good as it's terrible on round five <laughs> and now I don't most of the time it's very inaccurate and you don't unless you have slight hand it's ridiculously slow to reload <coughs> my voice is actually killing and um, because by the time you're watching this I've just played up to around 60 more or less still alive still got one perk it's all good we're on the road to the $250 from XGN that's without donations from you guys and now you don't have to donate if you want to donate you can either go on the cancer research website and if, if they have a box when you donate saying more information if you type survival district in there they will come up on our cancer research account and we'll get a full list of the people who've donated now it won't be your name it'll just be the amount so if you want that you can leave your YouTube name in there your gamer tag and I'll give you a shout out more or less just for saying thank you for helping us on this great cause 
or you can send it to our direct account which is survival district if you type it I don't know how you'll find it actually so it's just best just donating yourself and we'll get the full amount and we'll also receive a letter from cancer research saying the displaying the full amount that has been donated as I said I really want to reach five hundred dollars if we don't reach this it's still still for a good cause they're still gonna get something if I beat it if I don't beat the record which most of you are wondering what's gonna happen I'm not gonna get the two hundred fifty dollars um, but hopefully some of you guys would have still donated and it would it's a bit of fun anyway and now am I ever going for this ever again no not not until maybe a few months after once I haven't been on to rise a bit because I've been playing it non-stop and I've also been playing grief as well to get guides out for you to learn the best strategies on Black Ops 2 and zombies is killing me at the moment I feel like just going on um, Black Ops 2 that there see that zombie there look I freaked out there I panicked but look he quick reactions shot him in the neck in the back of the head back of the face killed him he didn't know what hit him <laughs> but I feel like just going into Black Ops 2 after this record's over sitting on um, maybe slums hard point and getting some nice feeds on there. Now I'm not going to be loading the feeds or the quick scopes or the shots I hit because that's what this channel's about. This channel's all about zombies and gameplay with guns. Now in the future I might actually start trick shotting montages. It's just that they take a while to do and they take a while to edit if you want to do them properly. So far we're on round 11 and um, that's nowhere near finished. This was in maybe the first 20 minutes of the game. I cut a few bits out because it would have been too long. And I need a drink so bad, so one minute. It's a bit better, guys. Voice was probably hurting then. So by the time you're watching this, I'm going to be commentating the other rounds from 1 to round 60 in the break. So I'm having quite a long break. Then I'll probably go into bed and leave it around 60, starting up tomorrow again to try and finish it. So I should be finished my baby below 100% by next Saturday when all the, well not even all the clips, maybe a quarter of the clips will be uploaded as I don't want to just bore myself uploading the clips and commentating them. Also this is good because it brings anticipation to you guys because you want to know, oh did he die yet, has he, has he, did he beat the record? You'll find out on the very last clip I guess and maybe I make the I might make the extra one pretty um pretty long for you guys but yeah um if you I'll leave you with the rest of this clip as I can't think of what else to commentate on pretty commentate on much I'm pretty tired now I'm probably going to just um finish off the rest of the clips maybe about maybe to around 20 the next episode which will be hopefully I might stop at 15 actually as the rounds do take quite a while and I'm not trying to rush them as I said if I mess up I'm going to be pretty annoyed and never play and now I've just noticed up there but that was actually a nuke I just missed that could have helped but it also couldn't help if you're wondering why I didn't go back and get the nuke is because one I didn't want to risk dying and losing my jugger which which is a rip off by the way World of War scams you on jugger they take so much money off you and give you like it's not even that good really, it's just a little bit of health, I think it doubles your health what you'd normally have. But on the higher rounds the zombies kill you anyway, so it's kind of a pointless perk. The rest of the perks are pretty pointless, that's why I chose Jugger for my one perk. As revive, it would work I guess, except as soon as you get back up the zombies are still going to be standing there. They're still going to kill you, so it's a waste. At least with Jugger you have an extra chance of surviving. Double tap is the worst perk ever. I never buy it. Slight hand, it's kind of pointless unless you have an LMG, as no matter what, you're still going to be walking really slow. And you mostly get a max ammo, as you can see. I've been getting a max ammo quite commonly, actually. Same with double points. I killed a zombie, I killed the other zombie, and he dropped the double points as well. It's quite a weird thing what's happening, but I'll leave you here, guys. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment what you thought. Peace.